I've just been exploring Morphos on the Mac G4 and there's quite a few 3D games available for it. I noticed nobody's covered them on YouTube so I'm going to do a quick little video. Here you go. <laughs> Okay, this is a little application I'm using for the Amiga um, and Morphos and Aeros. It's called eGame and it's really good because you can just launch your games like iGame if you ever use that, but um, you can launch DOSBox and stuff. So this is the Odomex engine playing Doom very fast as you can see. Um, this is Ultimate Doom I think, but you can put any of the Doom WADs in there and it runs really well. I kind of um, really like this. Uh, the only bad point about it is that they don't have any music. Um, that's going to be implemented in a later version, I hope. And uh, it it runs great. I can run it in very high resolutions, and uh, it's just good fun to play Doom. You know, um, it's like the kind of base point for many systems. Can it run Doom? And indeed, it can. It can run it very well. And uh, it's a very nice experience playing in 144 row by 900, kind of widescreen Doom on Morphos. So this is the first, I know it's a classic, but we're going to get into more kind of modernish games. So I, I just thought I'd show you a quick kind of skip through it. It's not a, a major review of Doom but also showing you how quick it is to get back to the desktop and then back to the kind of launcher um, the e-game so the next is Duke Nukem 3D now this is a kind of shareware version that's released through Grunch um, the Morphos kind of app store um, sorry I'm cutting off his head but I'm zoomed in a bit because it's a bit hard to kind of film widescreen but you get the general picture with first person shooters anyway but this is um, Duke Nukem 3D now this is using the polymost um, graphics so it's quite nice but it's not using the high resolution pack I know you can run the high resolution pack and it's great how much this works and how smooth it runs because um, I'm a fan of the engine build by Ken Silverman's build engine as it was known, classic one, but um, I was always wondering about the possibilities of other games like Redneck Rampage and stuff kind of coming to Morphos because it was all built on the Silverman engine and this indeed is Prime Silverman. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of jumping around here just showing you how smoothly it runs. This is also in 1440 by 900 and I've run out of weapons then. Trying to get back into the window. And I think I kind of jump in there, collect some rockets, try to jump over that bit, and then give up because I've not played Duke Nukem in a long while. But it runs very smoothly, as you can see, and uh, it's great fun. This trail kind of blur may be um, due to the camera, not the actual system, because it runs very smoothly on Morphos indeed. And remember, this is a G4, it's not a complete speed demon it's you know uh, it wouldn't run well on OS X I don't think it would run this kind of smoothly now the next one is called Hurricane and Hurricane is a remake it's Hurricane but um, kind of modern systems this has got a really cool little kind of amiga -y intro and it's really good fun um, it runs really well using SDL, um, the Power SDL engine. I think that's what it uses on Morphos, which seems to be getting updated quite a lot, and it runs very well. This is uh, not a first-person shooter, but it's a platform that I've got working recently. I'm aiming to get lots more games working and kind of do more reviews, but you know, it's always hard um, setting up little systems is just showing you know the kind of parallax scrolling on it the great graphics and uh, 
It's quite good gameplay actually, even though I've just died there. This is just me like running through it. I'm not actually uh, attempting to play a game at all or anything like that. Yeah, so Turrican's um, a classic kind of Amiga game, and this is a this is a remake. It's really well done. I think it's available for PC systems as well, and uh, maybe Linux. I'm not sure, but it seems like it was made for more or something you know um, it should be and this is probably one of the best remakes I've played other than XCOM which is absolutely amazing as you can see I'm not doing particularly well but it's quite hard to control with the keyboard um, I need to get a decent joystick for it and the, the explosions are great the kind of graphics are great um, there's loads of hidden bits it's uh, interesting levels I'd recommend it to any old school Amiga head that has a, a NG Amiga system next generation um, it's just really good fun and you can do all the kind of blowing up of absolutely everything jumping around the screen spraying everybody as you usually can do on the Turrican games and uh, that's what they were about really just pure destruction ha 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 and as you can see I'm destroying quite a lot of things and getting some power ups so uh I actually got quite into that when I was doing the small demo, so um might have got mad. Okay, and the next one we're gonna go for is along the Doom line, uh we've got Quake. Now this is different because this is Quake Free. So you've probably seen Quake on the Amiga before, but Quake Free, I'm just kinda showing you um how well it runs. Now I've got a lot of mods for this and um I want to do a separate mod video later on. Um, quite a few of the mods are quite good and they work quite well on the um, Morphos system. So, any kind of Quake Free mods, Quake Free Rally, um, you know, there's True Combat, I think there's a few other ones. Now, you, get, you do get a slight few glitches occasionally, but um, it's nothing majorly bad with this it's a, a slight little bit of lag but then it, it kind of smooths out you know it's usually when you initially start a game or something like that but um, as you can see the fighting is very smooth and the kind of gameplay is very playable you know considering this is a small small one gigabyte RAM system okay so now we're gonna not go into the mods and we're gonna go into the final piece which is let me have a little looky return to castle wolfenstein this game's excellent it's um i remember playing it when i was a teenager it's a first person shooter nazis and allies but it's uh kind of based on wolfenstein the original first person shooter now i'm going to speed this up a bit because just loading the cutscenes and getting through all the menus and the missions takes quite a while as it does on a, any machine and uh this also supports multiplayer, same with Quake. Now, this is great, I love the kind of graphics. There's a few little loading lags at the beginning, but then it really gets into it. And as you can see, it's a very high texture detail and you can, you know, realistic weapons and stuff. It's a real good game. And uh, I enjoy playing Wolfenstein a lot, and I want to complete it on Morphos. It's uh, really interesting. Um, I know they made some further games but I don't think they're supported but um, maybe some games of this time period could come out again because it's good to see these on the I know they're not strictly next generation um, software being created just for Morphos but they're, they're great 